exciting new Skyhawks. Stay tuned for our upcoming interviews of your fellow teachers who are from our historical black colleges and universities. Thank you, Ms. Bayfield, for letting us interview you. Of course. So, my first question is, what college did you attend and why did you choose it? Well, I didn't want to take my glasses off, actually, so I can see. I attended Houston Tillotson University. It's a small HBCU in Austin, Texas, and it was actually the first institute of higher learning in Austin, Texas. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. I think it helped shape me as a person because I was on a campus of higher learning with people who I could relate to, people who looked like me, and also people who didn't look like me. And it helped to broaden my horizons and broaden my perspective about how the real world works and how I fit into the real world once I'm done with college and once I'm done basically uh, not pursuing a career, but once I go into the real world and my real job field. So I love being able to experience that. I'm still friends with and still go to homecoming with my friends to this very day. I still talk to my roommate from college every single day if I can. So the bonds and the things that I experienced there were just life-changing, eye-opening, and something that I'll forever cherish, for sure. A favorite memory or experience from my time there, I was very involved on campus. I did a lot of activities. I was part of SGA. I was a part of a dance team, a workout team. I also did pageants. So I was crowned Miss Black and Gold, I believe it's been a long time, but that was like back in 2012, 2012, 2013, I think, is when I was crowned Miss Black and Gold. And girl, you went on Miss Pageants? Yeah. And you won too. Yeah, pageants were fun. Pageants weren't just for me to stand up there and look cute. Mm -hmm. uh, most of it was for scholarships. So during mm -hmm. my time, at my HBCU, I was on scholarship, so I had to keep my grades at a certain level. I had to put in a certain amount of community service, and I had to make sure I had extra funds in the bank. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I initially did the pageant, to make sure that I was getting extra scholarship money. Right, so you did a lot at the same time, still doing class, so you like worked a lot to get your goal. Totally, yes, absolutely. Well, thank you. Good morning, scholars and teachers. This is Mrs. White. I hope that you are having a great day and are excited about our Black History Month program next week. I know you are probably wondering about all the posters that have been outside of the classrooms and on the classroom's wall for Miss. Mr. Essence and Miss Ebony. So the scholars have been working on their platform and they are going to be recording videos for you to see and for you to vote. So there will be three parts to this program. So the first part is the voting from the peers. So you will receive some ballots and you will vote for who you think had the best speech and will embody Mr. Essence or Miss Ebony. This award is for scholars who uphold the school-wide code of conduct, show excellence in everything they do in their schoolwork, and show caring and embody the IB traits as they are going around the school as they interact with their peers and their teachers. So we just want to make sure that you are, um, all of these scholars that have been chosen have embodied these things and we just want you to um, give your input as well. And then at the program they will be rated on their talents and also answering a few um, questions about how they embody excellence and how this has impacted them as a scholar in the world. So. If you have any more questions or concerns about this, you can always come ask me. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. And I can't wait to see you in the hallways. Hi, my name is Jordan. I am in third grade. I like to play basketball and I like to sing and dance. I want you to vote for me because I am brave and I get good grades. I need you to vote for me because I am a good citizen. If you vote for me, I will be a better citizen. Black History Month is very important to people even from back in the day like Martha Luther King Jr. He stood up for us and he sacrificed his life in the form of assassination. The whole reason of Black History Month is for the people who sacrificed their life to save us. Thank you for listening. Please vote for me. Now let's continue with the rest of our announcements.
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Uplift Summit Pledge. I pledge to do my best this day to honor myself and others in everything I do, to accept responsibility for my own learning and to encourage others as I embrace my own opportunities to grow, to exercise leadership and prepare myself for college at every opportunity. For me, mediocrity is not an option. Only excellence will do. Who I am has value. What I think has value. Sapere Adu. Who I will become is invaluable to the world. February 22nd, 2024, and I'm your host, Shayla Lopez, and Ana Sofia, thrilled to share a thoughtful Thursday with you. Let's make today amazing. Let's talk lunch. Glazed chicken wings, carrot and celery sticks, roasted parmesan broccoli, honey wheat roll, and ranch. It's a feast. It's a feast for royalty. You want to ask him? Get out of my screen. Okay. Bye. And here's a fact to ponder. Apples flow on water. Who knew, right? I knew. You did not know until I told you. <laughs> Have an absolutely fabulous day, Skyhawks. Keep spreading those good vibes. Goodbye, Goodbye for now. now.